Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. So today I'm going to be doing a little makeover on my master bedroom. If you are new here and you didn't know, we actually let our daughter have the master bedroom um, strictly because this room is bigger. And so we needed the bigger room for our large bedroom furniture and we love it. I don't miss that room at all. I love the new room and I'm going to be doing like a little mini makeover on it. Um, whenever we switched the rooms, we kept it very simple and clean. I didn't do any bedding pillows. Um, I didn't do very many, like, much decor. I didn't change anything. I literally just moved all of our furniture over here. And then I had, like, random stuff laying around that I just kind of placed here and there. But I'll show you guys a before clip of how the bedroom looks. And then we're going to go ahead and jump right into this video. Um, and as I bring stuff in, I'll explain where I got it from. And the prices that way you guys know um, but today I actually went to my grandma's yard sale and I found well I, I was gonna say I found an amazing deal they were free my grandma gave them to me but <laughs> um, she had two lamps um, like the lamp base at her yard sale and they are so nice I just got to paint them and so I'm gonna do like a little DIY on those also a little candlestick that I have I'm gonna paint that and um, you know, change some stuff around in here. So I'm excited. I hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so here is a little overview of how the bedroom looks right now. Um, I didn't make my bed, so sorry about that, but I didn't feel like it was kind of necessary. I'm going to be doing, changing it anyway, so <laughs> I just left it. Um, but I don't have any like decorative pillows or anything like that. I've kept it very simple in here just because I knew I was going to be doing a makeover. Um, and then over here, I just have like really random decor on the dresser. Um, these plants right there and then the one right here, I actually got from my mom. She gave those to me. But my plan is to do a little bit of sprucing up in here, make this bedroom come back to life. I'm so excited because I love our new bedroom. Like the setup in here is great. And um, by the way, we do have the fireplace in here now um, and it's super cozy. I'll turn that on and everything in just a minute. But I'm gonna be painting this too, I believe. So yeah, we're gonna be doing just a lot of like little things in here. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and get started. So starting off with these lamps, I got these from my grandma's yard sale. She gave them to me for free. So I decided to try to paint the bottom of them black and then paint the other one white just to see which I like better. And honestly, I didn't like either. So you'll see at the end of the video, I ended up changing them up and I'll explain in just a little bit. Um, but now I'm going to go ahead and paint this glass candlestick that I got from my grandma's yard sale as well. Um, I thought it was really pretty. It just wasn't the color or the texture that I like. So I decided to give it like a wood grain look and I started by painting it solid matte black. This is the chalk paint. Um, it's the Waverly brand. You can buy it at Walmart. So painted the whole thing black and I let that fully dry and now I'm going in with two tan colors. I'll leave the names of them on the screen right here that way you guys know what they're called because I can't remember off the top of my head but I just kind of go in horizontal brush strokes and you know just brush it on very lightly and just add more and more color. The more colors you add the better it blends and they turned out so pretty. So whenever you're adding the next color, you want to be extremely light-handed. Just let the brush do the work. Don't like put any pressure. Just literally swipe back and forth. Um, and then I don't let the paint fully dry before I move on to the next color. The reason for this is because I want it to blend as if it's natural like wood grain, you know, and just give it that really natural blended look. I also really love how the black is kind of coming through a little bit. It just gives it a very old antique look. Thank you. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and put up the new curtain rods that I got from Dollar General. I paid 10 bucks a piece for these. They are the um, True Living brand, and I thought they were really great quality. They came with everything I needed. So I actually hung these up a little higher than the ones that were up before, and that is just to give the appearance of a larger window, especially since my bed is so tall. I definitely needed some more height behind the bed. So I wanted to show you guys the bedding set that I ended up getting. I only paid $37.49 for this bed, um, or this comforter set, and I am in love with it. It is so comfortable, and it's so beautiful, and I feel like on camera it just doesn't do it justice. It is literally the most perfect tan color in person. I absolutely love it, and I could not believe I only paid $37. I also went ahead and splurged and got myself some new sheets, sheets that actually match, and I went with white because white is just, it's simple, it's clean, it goes with any bedding set, and the last set of sheets that I bought, they were gray and they had a purple tone, like you could see at the beginning of the video, and I am not a fan <laughs> of gray because of... Uh, for some reason, I just can't get it to look good in my house. It always ends up looking really blue or really purple. Um, it could just be my lighting in our home, but... Anyway, I decided to go with white. Um, and then speaking of sheets, this is actually a um, twin size flat sheet that I cut completely in half and I made it into curtains. So it was super easy and anybody can do this. I did not sew anything. I literally just cut and then the cut side I tucked in so you couldn't see it. Um, simple as that. And then these little hooks I got from Walmart. They were super affordable. I think they're $2.88 a pack and I already had them, so I just spray painted them black and they worked out perfect. Light me up, don't you stop. Cause tonight it's on the line. Show me how you get on down. Close my eyes, take me for a ride. Okay, so a quick little update. I decided to do um, the curtains. Sorry, I'm shaking so bad. I'm trying to like <laughs> calm down, but I was standing up um, up there with my arms above my head for like a good minute trying to fix these curtains. But I decided to do the like drop cloth style. These are actually flat sheets from Walmart. Um, they were twin size and I just cut them directly down the center to make two panels and then just folded and tucked the cut side so you couldn't see it. I think it looks really good. I just need to pull this one out and, you know, fix them up a little bit. I just wanted to show you guys what I have going on so far. Um, so I'm having like a little technical difficulty with the lamps. I decided to spray paint the lampshades and it was a terrible idea. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it's fine though. I am going to check, you know, and see if I can find some lampshades pretty cheap. Um, and then try to do a little something with those lamp bases, but this is where I'm at so far um, By the way, I want to show you guys. This is the one of the picture frames I got from Bell's outlet along with this one for $5.99 don't mind the mess in here. It's it's a little crazy, but This is what I'm working with so now I'm going to go ahead and start decorating the space. I actually had this chair that I got from a yard sale for two bucks and I just threw a blanket over it and a simple pillow. I already had the pillow and that um, pillow cover. I bought those from Amazon. They came in a pack of four and I will link those below if you want to check them out. They're really nice, but they're more of like a burlap uh, feel. So just, just know that they're not very soft. They're not meant to like cuddle up with. <laughs> um, but now I'm just trying to, you know, get the fireplace going and figure out how I want to decorate the space. And you'll notice that when I'm decorating, I change things up a lot until I get the look that I'm going for. So I wanted to mention that anytime I'm decorating, I always just try to remember that nothing has to be permanent. If I like it one day and I don't like it the next, that's totally okay. I can always move decorations around and I think that's why I love decorating so much um, because it's not, it's not permanent. I love to move things around and change things up. Um, so now moving on to the lamps, I ended up painting the bottom of them a dark brown. I just used a spray paint and painted those. The reason I went with the dark brown was because the black and the white just were kind of clashing with the wood and I love how they turned out.
So I'm just adding a couple of finishing touches. I had to find some pictures to put in these frames and adding the candlestick that I painted. And now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some before and after clips. This makeover ended up being a lot bigger than I originally anticipated it would be. I just thought I was going to add a few things and change out the bedding and change out the curtains, but it ended up being like a full blown makeover. A lot of the items I use, I just pulled from around my house and I am just in love with it. I think it looks so good. Um, but if this is not your style, definitely check out my friend Becca's channel. She just posted a um, guest bedroom makeover and it looks so stunning. She's more of a minimalist, um, you know, when it comes to decorating and it looks gorgeous in her guest bedroom. So I will link her video below and I'll also have it at the end of this video if you want to check it out. Um, but I appreciate you guys watching so, so much. I hope that this video inspired you to just go for it and redecorate a space. There's nothing wrong with using hand-me-downs or thrifted items and you can make that space just as beautiful. Thanks again for watching, y'all. Bye. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Zoe. Don't work. No, take one of those. Please. <laughs> oh, just give me one.